Hello everyone! Uh, we are going to do a quick review of the things that we learned in science on measurement. Uh, so we're going to take the mass of something using a triple beam balance. That's the one that has uh, these three beams essentially where I can move weights across. Um, I'm going to measure the volume of something two different ways and then we're going to use those two values to calculate density. That's what we're doing in this video. So to start off with, we're going to do the triple beam balance. Now the first thing I want to do is place the object that I want to weigh in the center of the pan on the triple beam balance. To start off with, I'm going to move the largest weight first. That's this beam right here, because it goes by 100 at a time. So I move it to the next notch, and that's obviously way too much, so I need to move it back. And then I, knew, and then I move the second largest weight, that's the one that goes by tens, one notch at a time. And it looks like twenty might be a little too much, so let's just go back. And then I'm going to use my smallest one until I get to around where I want to be. That might be a little bit too. So maybe around 19 and a half. I got that because I added 10 from this one plus the 9 and a half. So 19 and a half is the mass for my candle. When I'm done, I want to make sure that I put everything back to the beginning notches, not too far, or else it kind of messes it up here. Put everything at the start. And now I write down my value of 19 and a half grams. So the mass of my candle so far is 19 and a half grams, so 19.5. I want to write it this way because that will allow me to uh, multiply this a little easier versus if I were to write it 19 and 1 half, it's just less confusing. So try to write it this way versus this way. Alright, now that we've found the mass of the candle, we can move this off to the side and now we can work with the volume. So I use my graduated cylinder my object, and some water. So with my graduated cylinder, my water, and my candle, I'm able to find the volume of my candle. And since it's an odd shape, I can't just use my ruler and find the length times with some sight. I have to use this method of a graduated cylinder. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a certain amount of water. So let's go up to about 50 or maybe 60 since I missed it already. And I want to make sure that I go from the bottom of the meniscus. So now that I have it at 60, I'm able to take the candle, places it inside, and we notice that a little bit sticks up. Well, that's because the candle probably has a density less than 1, because water is 1, or roughly 1. So what I can do is I can take a pencil or something and just push it down just enough so that it's submerged. I don't want the whole pencil in there because that's going to change the volume. 
But if I just push it down a little bit so that it's submerged, I'm able to find the density. So this, not the density, the volume. So if I push it down, it brings it to about 80, well it's one line up, that means 81 milliliters. Now, my candle isn't 81 milliliters, I started at 60. So I have to subtract 60 milliliters from this amount, and that gives me the volume of my candle. So the volume of my candle is about 21 milliliters. So let's go ahead and write that down as well. So the volume of my candle is about 21 milliliters. Now that I have both of my values, I can find the density. The density of any object is just the mass divided by the volume. So I have a mass and I have a volume, so I'm able to, uh, to calculate these values. So I'm just going to replace the mass, 19, let's get rid of that, 0.5 grams, I want to make sure I label, and then with my volume, 21 milliliters. Now I can use my calculator at this point to calculate my value and it would get me my density. Now another way that we can take the volume is by taking the length times the width times the height. And that's mostly things for that uh, are rectangular prisms or cubes. So for this one we can take the length at about seven and a half, the width at about 5, and if I turn it sideways here, I can get the height. The height is about 2.5. So we have, over here, the length was 7.5 centimeters. The width was 5 centimeters and the height was 2.5 centimeters. Now what I would have to do is just multiply these three together. So multiply and I get my volume. But I need to make sure I have the correct unit. The end unit would be centimeter cubed because I'm multiplying one, two, three centimeters, so cubic centimeters.